Hey, what's up everybody? I am Liz Medley and I'm going to share with you three amazing tips to building your business on social media. I have an organization that is now in 11 countries and there are almost to 20,000 people in our company. And so I wanted to give you three tips that have helped um, me and my company duplicate and grow rapidly. Um, Thank you for hopping on. If you are watching this as a replay, just know that I do see all the comments. So go ahead and ask questions. If there, you see something that you like in the comments, like, uh, let that person know. And again, thank you for hopping on. So I want to tell you a story about Faith Linton. She just hopped on. That's awesome. So I want to tell you about Faith. Faith is in my organization. She is a single mother of two. She is young. I don't even know. She's 20 maybe, 21. I don't know how old she is. She's young. Faith, how old are you? Um, she said, Liz, you know, I'm consistent every day. I'm doing income producing activities. I am posting right. My social media has been made over. What's missing? What's preventing me from getting my business to that next level? So I would go over there and I would look. I'm like, Faith, I don't know. Like you're do it looks like you're doing everything right. Um, your the attraction marketing's there, the consistency there is there. Um, you're sharing, you're not selling. So it was so from the appearance, it's like every it looks like she's doing everything right. What's the missing link? So that leads me to number one of the three tips I'm gonna share is messaging people. What happens is when you message someone on social media and they message you back, Facebook goes, oh, they know each other. And so you start showing up in their news feed. So then they're gonna see that attraction marketing. They're gonna see your side hustle. They're gonna see that you're able to pr produce an income from staying at home. So messaging people and getting them to message you back is going to increase your algorithm with that person and you're going to show up in their news feed. So what do you what do you message them? Um, when it's someone's birthday that I'm friends with, I message them. And not only do I message them, I sing to them happy birthday. And I'm not a good singer. It sounds like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Sally Sue. Happy birthday to you. Hey girl, hope you have an amazing day. Why I, why I teach singing to them is because they go, oh my gosh, thank you so much. So when I would just say happy birthday in Messenger, about one out of 10 would message me back and say thank you. I'm like, ah, I want everyone to message me back and say thank you. Um, and so when I started singing, now nine out of 10 people say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm like, do you have any fun plans? And I can start building that relationship with them. And I make friends, I get to know them. And that's, that makes my heart sing. That brings me so much joy. So messaging people and having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. Maybe you see someone post a picture of their new house. Like it, comment, send them a message. Congratulations on your new house. That's so exciting. It's beautiful. Um, if they post a funny joke that you like, oh my gosh, I love your humor. You're so funny. I can relate to that. Um, so number one, messaging them. Number two, stop sharing other people's um, stuff. If you see a funny meme or you see a funny joke or a quote, Use word swag or use Canva or use an app to take a picture of yourself and put that funny meme on top of it. Um, don't share that because you're building their algorithm and Facebook goes, oh, she doesn't have her own content. So they're not going to show your post to other people. So be creative and make your own. Or you don't even have to be creative. You just see something you like, recreate it to be your, your own um, using your own image. Okay, so don't share other people's stuff. And there are sometimes like you'll see someone that puts together a really cute outfit and you can save that image, you can repost it. Oh my gosh, I would so wear this. Who else would wear this? So then people will comment and interact and you can give that person credit to whoever created that image. Okay, and then the number three uh, tip is add value. So when you go live or you go to share your business, if you're in health and wellness, maybe it's 
give them a tip on how they can consume enough water every day. Or if you're in the makeup business, show them how to line up their eyebrows. Um, but add value. Um, don't sell. Don't just don't be salesy, right? Join my team. Buy this. Buy that. No, like why? Like what's that going to do for me? What's the benefit of me drinking your shake? What's the benefit of me wearing your um, lips? lip product okay so always add value ah thank you guys so much for sharing this I always always appreciate it um, so let's do a really quick recap you're gonna message people and get them to message you back so you show up in their newsfeed uh, you're gonna stop sharing other people's content and you're gonna recreate and make your own even if you're using their idea use your picture use put your spin on it make it you authentically you and then um, add value. When you go live, add value. What's in it for them? What's in it for them? So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, go ahead and post below what you struggle with in building your business online. What are your struggles? Um, and just a reminder, I do read all the comments once I um, in this live so if you're watching as a recap no I'm seeing this and comment with your struggle maybe I can help you out and support you in that and as always I believe in you guys believe in yourself Mwah.